How do everybody? You know it's cold out if I still have my flannel on. You're darn tootin'. Anyways, we have a special beer today. I was on my way from home from work and I was like, I gotta pick up some beer. And I seen this. And I was like, holy crap, what the hell's that? And it was, it is beer, I think. I don't know. Premium malt beverage contains alcohol. We have hemp tails made with real hemp seeds. Hemp. Who makes it? 8% alcohol. Refreshingly chill. Uh, who makes this stuff? Rockwall Brewing Company, Rochester, New York. Drinkhemptails.com. I don't want to get high. All right. It's a malt beverage. I've never seen it. I've had a couple. I had one other beer, a couple other beers, like 420 strain, it was called. And then there was another one that was hemp something uh, by New Belgium, maybe. I'm not, I, I can't remember. So we're gonna give it a shot anyways. I got a small glass, I got a bigger glass I could have rocked. And did you know, monkeys go bald just like humans. All right, uh-oh, this is very clear. I think I paid almost $3 for this darn thing. It looks like a, almost like a champagne. Super clear, oh no. Yeah, that smells like I don't like the smell of pot, it stinks. It really stinks bad. And this kind of, it, it stinks. But the, the flavor, and we'll see what the taste like if, it, if it's okay, 8%, that's a lot. What would you want, I don't know, you really must be an adult, you must, I don't know. Anyways, let's give it a try. No beer flavor at all. This must be like a drink. It's kind of sweet. It's almost like a uh, Sprite. I'm gonna say Sprite. Well, then you got Zima. Zima a, was a malt beverage crap too. Um, would I buy this again? No, I wouldn't waste my time because it doesn't taste like beer. It does. I mean, you get you know, flavored beers. You know, like blueberry or something like that, it still tastes like beer. This doesn't taste nothing like beer. And why? Why would you? I I don't, I don't know. I. It it it, it's something to drink if you don't like the taste of beer. You know, uh, it's not overpowering of marijuana smell, but. I mean, I don't, I don't smoke the stuff, and I, I, I don't know. People do what they want, you know. I, it's almost like a, like a sprite. That's all it tastes like—a Seven Up, a little bit, but with alcohol and stuff. And I'm thinking that's that could be dangerous. You can really down this sucker, but then the alcohol is going to hit you. See, it, I don't know. It's almost, it, yeah. Anyways, all cats' eyes are blue when they're born. There you go. For this isn't the best hemp beers I've had. Oh, the Hemperer, Hemperer, it was called. It was, I think, it was New Belgium. That was a very good beer. But this, yeah, it's. I don't know. It, it's, it's like a fruity. I, I don't know. If it, I, it's not even really a beer. It's a malt beverage, so I, I don't know. They should have handed out some bras with them or some panties or something because it, it's just. I'm not even going to finish this. I'm just going to dump it out. But, anyways, I, I ain't even going to give it a rating. So, it was a, basically a waste of a beer video because I thought it was beer and I didn't think it was, you know. I mean, it's okay if, if you don't like the taste of beer, you can drink this and you can get drunk. Or just go out and bottle, buy a bottle of wine. That's a, better, that's a better thing to do. Because I don't see buying this if it doesn't taste like beer. So there you go. If you like this stuff, it's sweet, it's refreshing, yeah. But I'm not gonna finish this beer. So it's like three bucks down a drain, I don't care. Um, 
a 3,000 year old mummy can still have still have fingerprints. There you go. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching.